From sustainability to increased productivity, Kimberly Clark knows all about innovation. Peter, let's start with the idea itself. How do you define innovation at Kimberly Clark? And if I can ask a follow up right away, uh, what helps your team move the needle? Well, Kurt, you just got me with a one two punch. Thanks so much for having me on. <laughs> uh, Kimberly Clark and Fast and All have a great history of partnering in one innovation and really helping our customers you know, solve problems. From a KCP perspective, innovation is all about finding the right type of solution and really taking the, the, the problem and actually going forward. Not just doing what we already have, but really investing in ways from a consumer insights perspective and translating that into helping solve, again, customer problems or unmet needs. Uh, one of the greatest examples we've had most recently in that is actually in our washroom business. Not something you see every day with KCP and Fast and All. We came up with something called Icon. And I'd say the, the latest from a technology perspective from a paper towel and soap and skincare dispensers. But what's fun about that is that we have a great new technology that allows people to imprint their own brand any design they'd like to put on it. So you don't think of it as just a paper towel dispenser. You think of it as branding, communication, how about even revenue generation someday? We think that's a pretty big idea to really take the conversation forward. Now, how we move the needle is essentially making Fast and All look good, making Fast and All successful. Think about it. If we help you look great in front of your customers and we help, again, finding the documented ways that we can help save money and be more productive, those ways, we don't do our job if you don't do your job. Yeah, no, what you're saying makes perfect sense. Um, I hadn't thought about it that way, but uh, when you say it, it it clicks. Uh, right cycle. I see your shirt. I love it. Uh, Peter, your team knows what they're doing because that is a great name for a PPE program. Uh, what do we need to know about it? Well, right cycle's been around for over 10 years. And in this case, if for, for the audience that may not know this, Kimberly Clark has a program where we take used non-toxic PPE and actually now wet wipes uh, and flex film packaging and we, the customer doesn't have to put it in the landfill. And remember, PPE across the board is apparel, gloves, uh, masks, respirators, eye protection, booties, hairnets, not that I need a hairnet, but all <laughs> of those ways, if the customer collects that, we actually trans we melt down that plastic and turn it into durable hard goods. And again, that's only part one of the story. Part two of the story is actually all of the activities are made, uh, melted down and reformulated into the Johnson County Development Center in uh, West Virginia. We allow people who have developmental disabilities have a job and we've again had this program in place for years. And the third thing I want to mention about it is the transparency. You can actually visit visit that uh, facility if your customer wanted to go with Fast and All. We actually also have a third party agency that helps us measure and track we call, it's a company called Waste Bits. If you have stated landfill diversion or zero landfill goals, we can help document how much you're taking out of the landfill and really help you get your personal and professional recycling goals. That's a big part of it these days, the documentation. Uh, I think Fastenal has been working with Waste Bits for a while too, so that sounds oh, familiar. 100%. And I think overall, you know, sustainability is a passion-based industry. People that get it are really into it. And we actually have something called the Green Innovation Award that's coming up next month uh, during Earth Month, where we celebrate the customers across all different size, uh, large and small customers, people that are making that impact to the environment. And we want them to have that, again, that personal touch on top of all of the ways that we're actually helping them meet their sustainability goals. Now, Kimberly Clark, a little bit of a commercial for us, we actually have aggressive and transparent 2030 sustainability goals where we're going to reduce our environmental impact around water, plastics, and fiber by 50% and improve the lives of 1 billion people. Now, again, we're a large company just like Fastenal, and we actually have stated sustainability goals and reports. So we have to come up with impact and progress every single year. The 2022 sustainability reports on our website right now. That's a perfect segue. Thank you, because I'm going to mention special delivery diapers. Uh, as a parent, uh, I'm looking at how many diapers we're putting out there, and it makes me feel a little bit better using them. Uh, what are they? You know, <laughs> I'm glad that we have we find this. Uh, there, there's an unmet need out there for people that want more plant-based items. 
Again, we're a company that um, helps provide health and wellness products, but people also want the sustainability. They want to feel good about where they're go we're going. So they're a little bit, you know, a little bit more expensive, but we have that tailored technique for people that want to know both soft and great for the environment and a special touch for their special little ones. That's how we've come up with that, a new opportunity for us to, to uh, satisfy customers' needs. Yeah, it's my kid's planet. I can spend a little bit extra just to keep it a little bit safer. Uh, Peter, I've taken enough of your time. Thanks for talking today. My pleasure, thanks. <laughs>